Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotac, and this is the new series for Apple Watch. This is actually the box that it comes in if you get the aluminum one. This is the space gray aluminum one. Let's take a look. And as you can see, it says Series 4 Space Gray Aluminum Case, Black Sport Loop, and this is the cellular version. So these start at $399 for the 40 millimeter. This is the 44 millimeter, so $429. But if you want GPS and cellular, it's another $100. So this is $529. If you get the stainless steel watch, it's more and comes in a different box. And maybe we'll check that out later on. Let's open this up here. So this one does not pull off the top of the box. We have to do this, it looks like. Yeah, these are actually fit that way, which is a little bit different. And then it looks like, there we go, it opens up like that. So we've got, I haven't seen a box like that before, but that's kind of interesting. So we'll move that aside. And it looks like we have the watch here and then the band separately, so they could box them separately. So. Let's open, well, let's open the band first. This is the Nike Sport Loop, and this one is actually the just Sport Loop. It says hook and loop closure. So let's see if we can open this up here. So there we go. We'll remove that. And... It's a similar nylon material, but if you look at it side by side, this one has a little bit of a kind of reflective rainbow glittery color in it. In it. it looks like, I don't know if you can see that, uh, but that's what that one looks like. Let's take a look at the actual watch itself. This is something I've been looking forward to. It's a pretty big advancement and I think it will be a pretty significant upgrade for most people. So there we go, there's the box, nothing there designed by Apple in California. Now there were rumors that this or the next generation was not going to come with this plug. It looks like this one does, so I'm glad to see that. You've got your little inductive charger there. Let's see what we've got in here. This is open your band box. It's telling you how to turn it on, and then it tells you how to charge it on the back. So we'll move this aside. Let's take a look at the watch itself. Now this one is a little bit different than what we've seen before. So let's see, it's got this little padded case that's around it and it looks like we can just slide it off, I guess this direction. And you can tell that this is the cellular model by this red ring. Previously, you have this red dot here that's on this one. Now you just have the little red ring on it. So let's push this up here. And by doing that, apparently I pushed the button to turn it on, but you'll see the bottom looks a little bit different. And that's because this has a new ECG monitor, electrocardiogram monitor, and it uses that between the button and the digital crown to actually measure the, your ECG. I'm not sure if that's available yet, but should look really nice. So you'll see there's the Apple watch and it says bring it close to an iPhone. I guess we'll just use my current one since I don't have the new one set up just yet, but let's bring it close here. It says, do you want to set up the Apple Watch? Continue. Just like before. Then set up is new or restore from backup. I'm going to restore from backup the current one I'm using on my wrist. There we go. And while we're waiting for that, let's put the band on. and it's linking the account. Now you can see this is a little bit thinner, not much, it's 10.7 millimeter thin, or at least it looks like it. Let me take my other watch off so we can compare them. And looks a little bit thinner, you can see there. It is a little bit different, the speakers are different on the side, on this side, you'll see it's a little bit different. And then on the bottom, well, the bottom is a lot different. You'll see here, I could have taken the bands off, but you'll get the idea here. On the bottoms, they're a lot different as well. This is the new Series 4 on the left, so you get the idea. Very different, but the nice thing is the bands will work on any of them. So any of your old bands will work on the new one. So that display is nice and big. Now you have some options. It says low heart rate notification, high heart rate notification, Apple Pay, we'll set that up later. 
emergency SOS. We'll skip cellular since I'm not probably going to use that. I don't use that most of the time anyway. Uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't, but there's the digital crown moving these. It's supposed to have haptic feedback. I don't feel it yet, but maybe later. Now you'll see the display on the new ones a little bit larger. It's edge to edge and curved on the edges as well. Looks really good. The watch is ready. It says press the digital crown to start. There we go. And that's the previous watch face I had. Let's take a look at some of the new ones here. See if we can add any. And unlike the other Apple Watch, these go edge to edge, which is really nice. The water one I kind of like. It goes right out to the edge there. Raise to speak. We've got vapor. This is an old watch face. We've got some photos. And let's see if we can add the new one. And there's a little bit of haptic feedback here. It's kind of shaking the whole watch itself. There's the new one, the infograph. It says no events today. It's got to get some information in the upper right. It's got UV levels. That's pretty nice. Let's customize. We can make that white or black or red. Looks pretty good. And then UV index. This one is weather. This one is activity. And this one is the timer. So I think I'm going to keep all of these. I think that looks pretty good. I'll use this for a few days and we'll see if the, the EKG stuff I don't think is here right away. We'll go here home and see what we've got. Walkie talkie, of course. Let's go to heart. it doesn't have the EKG yet. That's coming in an upcoming update. But let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Did you pick one up? Is this your favorite thing this year from Apple so far? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.